like, subscribe, and leave a comment. So here's a review of AEW Rampage and AEW Dynamite. We commence on the 5th of February. Dynamite is delayed. It's the week prior if you are in England. So it starts with the private party versus top flight in a great match. This is a rematch from their last match. Really good match. Go and watch it. Loads of high spots, but in the end, top flight get the victory. Then we have Sammy Guevara coming for basically uh, Hobbs and Powerhouse Hobbs and the Don Callis family. Basically, he says he's coming after him, basically. Then we have Double J, Jeff Jerry, and Jay Lethal. They're going back and forth about a wrestling workout that didn't go to plan. And they need to sort it out. They need to get it together. They're falling apart. Then we have Ricky Starks and Big Bill versus The Dark Order in a really good match. A tune-up match for their tag team championships against Sting and Darby. And they get the victory. Then we have Hobbs basically calling out Sammy Kavara in a nutshell saying he's coming for him and be careful what you wish for. Then we have Queen Amanada versus Willow. Queen Amanada has not won a match that I've seen on AEW TV. And Willow gets the victory. Then we have the Undisputed basically saying um, they weren't the best friends on Rampage in like a six-man tag, I think. So we'll see. Then in the main event, it's the Mask Team. I think it's the C. B L L or C M L L something like that versus the X J S members and Christopher Daniels and Matt Seidel in a great match, but the mass members win. Then we go after Dynamite. Dynamite starts with Swerve Strickland and Hangman Adam Page. This match is a pay per view level match to kick off Dynamite. Go and watch it. Awesome match, probably five stars. But in the end, there was no winner due to a time limit draw. But it was an absolute barn burner of a match. After the match, Tony Khan has announced it's going to be a triple threat match at Revolution. Samoan Joe. Swerve, Strickland and Hangman Adam Page for the AEW World Championship. That's going to be awesome. Then we have Joe basically in the back said he's not happy with a tri triple threat match. And no matter what happens, he will defend his title. So we will see what happens. Then we have Tony Storm versus Red Velvet. Um, I think Red Velvet was off for a bit. I think she had an injury, but great match. But in the end, Tony Storm gets the victory. Then we have Orange Cassidy said he's ready to defend his title against anyone. And basically the best friends are ready to go. So... Let's go. Um, then we have the BCC versus the CMLL. Obviously, they jumped Moxley the other week. Really good match. Go and watch it. A lot of high spots from from the, the opposition. Really good match. Very technical. Lucha Libre really was really good. But in the end, due to low blow, BCC get the victory. Then we have Chris Jericho versus Tones Tonuski. Takeshita. Takeshita Tonoski. I think that's how I feel. I feel I got his name right for once. Um, really good match. But in the end... Tanoski uh, gets the victory so well then in the main event it's the tag team championship match it's Darby Allen and Sting versus Ricky Starks and Big Bill in a great match for the AEW tag team championships they're on Darby Allen and Sting was on a 27 win streak with zero losses they're now on 28 because it's now the new AEW Tag Team Champion. So congratulations to Sting and Darby Allen. Great match. Even Sting's family came in to, to celebrate, but it didn't last long because the Young Bucks came with bats, white bats, and took out everybody. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment.